I'm at the house today. It's the afternoon of Thursday this week. Um, haven't done much filming the last couple days. My daughter was visiting and uh, I spent some time with her. I was on the job site now and then to check out what was going on, but I didn't really film much. Um, changes since probably the last video are the last of the windows and doors have been framed in there, bathroom, back door, and window. So that's all framed in. Uh, the beam is all installed, I think I showed that. So today basically all they did was clean, uh, vacuum out the, uh, where the rafters meet the wall up and top to get some of the, the last of the insulation out and the dust off the floor and out of the, the bottom of the walls there. So they could uh, be ready on Monday to uh, spray the sealer. So tomorrow I don't think there's gonna be anybody on site at all. And then uh, the weekend and then Monday they're gonna do that. Uh, there's no real projects for this weekend planned for me. Um, so me and a couple of the guys are gonna pull out an old shed I got in the back there that's rotted and not good for nothing. Throw that in the dumpster, it's gonna take maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, it's, I'm not worried about that. So I figured since I got a bit of time and the snow's all melted in my backyard, I'll just uh, flip the camera around and we'll go for a walk. I'll bring you out to the four wheeler trail and down to the river by the bridge. And just get an idea what's around my house. I haven't even been back there yet uh, this spring. So we're gonna do that and uh, see what it looks like. Let's give a minute and I'll uh, get going and flip the camera. All right, let's try this again. Uh, yesterday I filmed a video showing the, the back garage here and my walking trail and everything. Ah, oh, great. Well, we're not gonna get in the back garage because somebody locked the padlock and I do believe I don't have the key for that anymore as it was lost in the fire. So we'll have to do that another time. But I filmed the video, it was like 14 minutes. I showed the backyard, the, the walking, the four-wheeler trail, the lake, the beaver dam and all that. And for whatever reason, I couldn't get the video off my phone. It just, uh, it wouldn't transfer. I couldn't do it with the wireless. I couldn't do it with the cable plugged right into my laptop. So I decided to come out here today and uh, film it again. It was going to be a video uploaded yesterday, but I wanted to include this in it. And the other parts of the video would have made it about a three, four minute video. So I didn't think it was worth it to upload just that. So I was going to refilm this today and hope that it uh, uploads. So here's the, the four wheeler access to my yard that we're walking down now. And there you can see just ahead the four-wheeler trail. So this is still all my property. And we get up here. My property goes right about to that tree with the snow fence. And goes up that way. And this is four-wheeler trail in the summer. Skidoo trail in the winter. And this is still all my land here on this side. Um, going up a couple hundred more feet. And you see here through the trees my house and we'll just walk down the trail to the other side of my property to the uh, the bridge over the river and we'll give you a view of the water and a little explanation of how the beavers uh, stole some of my land and then I'll go up and show you the dam and the house and up to the lake maybe see how long the video is getting because I think that might have been the issue it wasn't the largest video I ever made like uh gigabyte wise but it just would not transfer I had enough room in my cloud storage to transfer it and I don't know what's going on with the iPhones and plugging them into the laptops and Windows 10 and trying to transfer photos off but it's just not working at all I got a thousand photos on my phone and it'll only show that I can transfer about 50 of them and then I get a hard crash on the uh the connection between the phone and the computer and nothing transfers at all so i was getting back down to my neighbors the river here and when i moved in and last spring uh, where these uh, branches and grass are here this was land and all that right there was land you can see a bit where the beavers pushed up the mud to make uh, a catch for the water 
and the river here was only about maybe uh, seven eight feet wide but you can see now it's you know 50 100 feet wide and that expanded all the way down there and made a nice little pool down there and uh, here it is it's kind of a muddy water a little dark and you get on this side again this was only seven eight feet wide until the beavers built that dam there in uh, last september you can see here on the land and the tree the branches and that that was all land and over here the same thing all these branches here were on land and that was my property my property ends at the tree line there where you're coming off the bridge here my property ends at the tree line which you know i've now lost 10 15 feet there of, till the water comes up so you can't own the water so the water and my property line on this side states that my property follows the edge of the river well the river is now you know 15 feet wider on that side so i've lost some land so just did a little cut there to try and keep the video file size down in case that was the issue and i'm going to continue up and we're going to go around here we're going into the uh, cement factory excuse the wind and this has been shut down for quite a few years but the, there's still dirt piles here and people drive their atvs and their dirt bikes up on them and sometimes even get moose tracks and deer tracks going right over the, the dirt piles here so um, everybody comes in here that lives around here the trail runs right through the property and i've never heard of anybody having any issues and i've never heard of anybody getting hurt jumping their ATVs and dirt bikes over some of these piles. So until that happens, nobody will probably ever have an issue. But that's where I trapped the beavers in the fall that were trying to dam the culvert uh, down at the road next to my house. That would have been bad because it would have caused a pile of flooding and the neighbor's basements would have flooded and been dangerous for the roadway. So here, this is a new dam that they built only last September. This was not here in the spring. Um, you can see the branches there, those were on ground. And the same on the other side, there is some deadfall there. Uh, you can see the house there a little bit, I'll zoom in on that in a minute. But I lost again about 10 feet of land on that side. Uh, just because of the them picking this dam here. And again, this was only eight, 10 feet wide all summer last summer until the beavers moved in in september and they built that house right there and their food pile which is still all there and doesn't look like it's been touched or eaten on so i do think i got all the beavers that were responsible for that house and this dam here so and in the fact that it's still running as it is has been a couple of days now it's probably the third time I've come up and looked and there's no been no attempt made to patch it or stop the water overflow so it makes me think the beavers are no longer down this far which I'm okay with uh, if some more come down in the fall well we'll trap them again if not uh, then maybe this dam will eventually bust a little bit and I'll get some of my land back or I could make a little hole I guess so we're gonna go up this way for another little walk and I'm gonna pause the video for a little bit in a second and uh, just to save on the size of the file. But we're gonna go up to the next beaver dam where the lake starts and I'll give you a view of that. And here in this dirt pile, uh, I often see uh, moose and deer tracks and coyote and fox tracks. I don't see any today, but uh, I've seen them often all year last year. They would just even go right up the top and over instead of walking around but you know they're gonna do what they're gonna do and yeah so i'm gonna pause the video here and i'll show you uh, once i get to the lake not at the lake yet but i'm just gonna show you some beaver sign from last year um the beaver cut all these down just last september and the trees are gone that big one's still down there but these little ones are all gone. I think they used them to build the dam in the house. 
But when I started trapping, they were just starting to cut on that tree, which is about a two foot, two and a half foot diameter tree. And they're almost uh, halfway through it. Through it. So, uh, I mean, they're biting off more than they can chew, I think. So we're gonna head over here. And I think it was the skidoo club. Uh, trim the trail through here. I think they uh, run the skidoos up over the lake on the ice. But this this was so overgrown last fall when I was hunting and trapping up here that uh, it was quite a miserable walk to get through it. And someone came through and cut it right open and now I could drive my four-wheeler right to the lake or ATV, some people call it. And you can see if someone came through with a brush cutter and snipped this all off, and there's a little bit of a, a runoff here. I'll get my feet wet. <laughs> But I could now drive my ATV right to the lake, which would be all right. Nothing wrong with that, save on the walk. I was told there's fish up here. I've never tried fishing it yet, but maybe this summer. There's the beaver dam. It's quite deep right off the dam, so I'm, if there's fish, they should be close to it. We'd only have trout up here if there's anything. It would just be trout. Um, yeah, so here we are at the lake. It's a uh, pretty good size. It continues up around the point back there and you can see, I'll zoom in, there's another beaver house right there. And I'm not sure if there's beaver living in it, but I think there would be because I did catch one beaver up here, out there on the dam and it was quite a beaver. It was pushing uh, 50 pounds. So, oh, and there we have a muskrat swimming in the, uh, the river right there. I did mean to muskrat trap up here this spring, but I never got around to it. I'm not sure if the season's still open or not. And it goes up this way to a little swamp and there's quite a few little beaver runs up there. And we got the dam here. I think it's probably 500 feet across this dam. And there the muskrat just come over and there he is there swimming over the log. And we have some ducks landing right here. And they're take. They don't think they thought. I don't think they saw me, or they wouldn't have landed. But there they are, three ducks. Try and zoom in. There we go. Yeah. There is. Oh, and there they go. They must have just saw me, and they took off. The ducks don't like the people too much. So, on this dam last year, I did put some leg hold traps because I was getting coyote tracks across the dam almost every other day, fresh tracks. I never did catch a coyote on it, uh, probably because I'm new to trapping and didn't set my or hide my traps properly. But I'm gonna try again this fall. Um, you can see right there, there's actually a beaver track right there in the mud. It's probably hard to see. And uh, yeah, this dam, it curves out and goes back about 500 feet, all told, to get across it. I've walked across it a few times, and there's a beaver run just before the first corner there, where they would go over the dam and go down to the lower part here. And that's where I caught the big beaver last fall. It's the last beaver I caught. But there, way off in the distance, about as far as you can see, is another dam that has a house right on the dam and it's actually cut off like someone took an excavator up there and dug out half the dam that dam up there is old there's actually trees growing on it that are an inch to two inches in thickness um, so that's got to be a very old dam i do believe the house up there is occupied because i saw a fresh sign of uh beaver runs and uh there was a food pile. I can't get close enough to the dam here to see if there was a food pile last fall because my property ends a little bit down that way. Um, all this land is owned by somebody. I'm not sure who because the registry just shows an ID number and not a name. But there is some skew trails and ATV trails that go around that you can come out almost up by that upper dam there. And like I said, the trails, if you have a pass, you're allowed to use, but then you're still kind of walking on someone's land if you want to come out to the water. And here, this is, this is odd. We have 
clam shells. I don't know if these are freshwater clams or something that birds uh, carried up here and dropped. But there are shells here on top of the dam. Um, there's quite a few. I don't see any bear or coyote tracks on the dam at the moment. But I'm not going to walk too far. I don't want to make this video too long. But I will see, I will go over to the run, where the run was and see if the run is being used. It would be a pretty good idea if there's still beaver up this end. And here it is right here. And it actually does not look like it's being used. It looks fairly dry. There's no fresh, well, nah, there's a little bit of mud there. And you can see this dam is probably about six or seven feet tall if you look down. Um, the water right here, there is quite the drop off right there on this side, of, on the upper side of the dam. And you can see here where the beaver would come up and over. And I mean, everything looks pretty dry. There is a bit of mud down there, but it is dry. So I don't know if they're actually using the, the run anymore. It's possible that the beaver that made their house down by my place moved down from that house and that house is empty. I don't know. There's seven or eight more houses as you go up through the swamp and the next, uh, the second lake that's up there. So eventually there will be more beaver down here because I'm not going to travel all the way up there and uh, trap. So they will move down eventually. But yep, this is it. There's the river and there's the lake. So I'm going to end the video there and I'm going to head back to the house and hopefully this time it'll upload to my computer so I can edit it and get it on YouTube to show everybody. And... Uh, as you did see in the video, there was a muskrat, so who knows, maybe I'll uh, come up here and uh, if the season's still open, put a couple of muskrat traps out. There you can see the branch that the, they stripped of the bark, but it's dry. It doesn't look fresh, so I don't know uh, if they're running. And I, I saw one little track over there on the dam, but I don't see any more. And... I mean, the whole top of the dam looks dry. It doesn't look like anything. There's no new mud or new wood. I mean, look at, there's a birch tree about a foot in diameter pushed up onto the dam. Like, they can work. They can build. It's amazing. So many birds and stuff up here. I got to get my canoe up here one day and go for a paddle. Um, you know, I'm seeing kingfishers. I'm seeing swallows, ducks. I've seen uh, great blue herons in the river and up here at the lake. So it's a great little ecosystem. And I'm pretty sure that if I wanted to in the fall, I could probably duck hunt up here from the canoe or even make a blind up in the brush up there somewhere and just paddle to it with the canoe. Uh, but I don't know. I'll have to figure out if I'm still within the town of Dalhousie's limits or not back here at the lake because they do have a bylaw where you're not allowed to discharge a firearm in the town limits so if this lake is still within the town limits I would not be able to duck hunt up here but, oh well look at that that looks fairly fresh it just could be because it's wet but maybe there are still beaver up here you know they eat the bark right off the branches there I said it could be just because it's wet it could be because it's fresh it's hard to tell because it's still in the water but yep so that's about that yeah so if uh if this lake is not within the town of the house's limits i am legally far enough away from uh any residents to hunt uh the only possible issue could be if the landowner has an issue with me dragging my canoe across his land or not but if not then once I'm on the water I'm okay it would just be a question of how I got to the water and worst case scenario I could just put it in the lake and portage the dams because if I'm in the water I'm not bothering nobody all right so here we go all the way back to the house I'm gonna cut you off here have a good day and I'll uh, catch you next time